folks, welcome back to another video. We're going to go and look at a few of the uh, DC Multiverse figures from McFarlane Toys. I did do the Bat Cycle and Batman earlier on the year, and uh, it's something I've always wanted to return to, is doing the occasional DC Multiverse figure, because it's, it's a line I do double in as well. Um, and this is my, most, my newest one, uh, which I picked up just the other day. Um, when this one was revealed, this is obviously Scarecrow from Arkham Knight. Um, which is really cool because they've done, just done a whole wave of Arkham game related figures including Batman, Joker, um, Red Hood um, and a couple others, Penguin, Catwoman um, and build a figure of Solomon Grundy so they do have an awesome way there. I saw them in person for the first time just yesterday so um, I'm looking forward to grabbing those because you know, I'm a big fan of the Arkham games. And uh, yeah, this version of Scarecrow is probably one of my favourites. I just love the look of him. So when they announced that they were doing a figure of this guy, I never got the uh, the old one that came out when the games were coming out. Um, so I'm kind of glad I held off because I, I do like what McFarlane does. I do enjoy the toys. That they're not without fault, but um, you know they're, they're they're affordable and uh, you know they come really well detailed and they're not difficult to find. So I'm really glad to find this one. We'll take a quick look at the packaging. Um, there's nothing really exciting going on here. But uh, yeah, there's, all their packaging is the same. You know, it's generally got the DC Multiverse, the, the name of the character on the side. Gives you the character's name and the property or comic line they're sort of a part of. So this one's obviously Batman Arkham Knight. Um, and I lied because I just picked up this one as well. So you can sort of see uh, Robin, Tim Drake. And yeah, just a... Just a basic figure. <laughs> Sometimes they'll have a little bio on the back. This one has just a larger image of Scarecrow on the side. Again, name panel on the side. Just keeping it simple. All the barcode and mumbo jumbos on the back. And yeah, nice window in the top. So yeah, here we go. Let's bring him back to zoom in. Now he is a dark figure, which is why I've got so many lights on at the moment <laughs> to try and pick it up. Another thing I do love what McFarlane does is the addition of a trading card and a stand. Um, you know, it's it's not much, and you know, it's a nice little bonus just to have a little trading card. The Scarecrow, Batman, Arkham Knight, obviously, and then a little bit of a data file on the back, which is cool. So yeah, they, in lieu of putting that on the back of the packaging, they put it on the card. So you can pause that and have a quick read if you'd like. Obviously, real name, Jonathan Crane. So yeah, he's uh, I, I, I've got a nice little stack of these cards now. And uh, yeah, they just come with a generic black stand. DC icon sort of slightly embossed on it there. And yeah, they'll do this with all their all their figure lines, uh, you know, Avatar, which is just coming out, um, The Witcher. They've all got their own little little logo on them, so that's it's a it's a nice thing. A second peg would be awesome, but definitely not necessary because um, it is a nice tight fit. It's a nice big peg, slots in nicely. So yeah, I just wanted to do my best at showing off this figure because it is so dark, and I'll try and. Brighten it up a little bit without going too blindingly saturated. There we go. So yeah, love the look of the the head sculpt there. It looks really nice. Sort of the bright eyes. They almost look like they glow. Just the way they've been painted. It's almost a just a metallic orange. Um, a little slightly different to all the tubes and stuff he has here. So we have his sort of toxin pack on the backpack. And yeah, lo love the outfit. Love the sort of the detail with all the stitching and and everything sort of sticking to those scarecrow sort of roots. It doesn't come with any other accessories, just what he has. So he does have the, the needles on the arm, on the hand with the fist, and this sort of clawing look. It does have a broken noose wrapped around his neck, which I think
think, yeah, it looks good. So it's sort of sitting forward like that. Going down, you know, it's sort of got this sort of sculpted, sort of lower part of the jacket, I guess. I'm not always up for the sort of extremely molded, like, I don't know, but they kind of, it does give the figure a bit of extra life. He does have this extra sort of metal part up the side of his leg. It's not metal, but it's sculpted to look like metal. Just the leg giving the leg extra support. But yeah, nice, simple paint colours and design. A lot of it's black. You know, there's definitely room for little touch-ups here and there if that's your thing. Like on buckles and buttons and things like that. But um, yeah, I was really, really excited about this one. I was looking at the Red Hood earlier today because I think this one is an exclusive somewhere in the United States. I'm not sure where. Um, same as the Red Hood, um, but they are out in EB Games, Zing Pop Culture here in Australia. So I was looking at the Red Hood and I thought, oh, he'll, he'll be there in a couple of weeks. I'll go back and get him. So that's why I picked up Robin um, that I shared earlier. So... Yeah, anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of the DC Multiverse stuff. If not, I'm going to be doing them anyway, because I, like, I really like them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is my first foray back into doing some DC stuff. Um, just trying to mix it up a little bit. I did just get a couple of the figures from Black Adam, um, which I really enjoyed as a movie as well. It was really good. Um, so yeah, let me know some thoughts. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon.